it was, you know, the weather was so nice today. It's appropriate. It, it kind of felt like that was the right thing to do. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Our temperatures are fall like now for us. Temperatures below average. Here's a live look at Clyde Warren Park. 70 degrees, the current temperature. We have someone just hanging out at one of the tables there. I suspect that that park might be a bit more busy going into the evening hours after work, after school, because it's a beautiful night tonight. Same story at Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. Look at the beautiful blue sky. Not even a cloud out there. Temperatures also holding in the low. 70s. I do want to point out that the Trinity River at Dallas, uh, you can see the crest at 38.1 feet. We have some video to show you actually uh, from Chopper Level and as well. There's the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. You can see that's because of so much rain that we saw. We have that flooding going on. We're in the minor flooding stage, and that crest was earlier today at 38.1 feet. So definitely the Trinity out of its banks again. We're now seeing the level dropping just a bit. I just checked right around 3 o'clock, the level was sitting at 36. Point three nine feet. So still in minor flood stage and will continue to drop as we go through the remainder of the night tonight and into tomorrow morning. Our temperatures upper 60s to the low 70s holding on. It's beautiful as you're stepping on out of the door. Right now, all across parts of North Texas, the same story sitting at 68 in Sherman to 67 in Bowie. It is 69 right now in Breckenridge to still warm down near Athens. Palestine seeing temperatures in the upper 70s as the front continues to push its way down to the southeast. But look at this uh, Woodward, Oklahoma, it's only 57 degrees right now. We're not going to be that cool tonight, but temperatures are going to be cooling their way on down into the mid 60s by the time we get to about 8 o'clock. And then as we do start out, we're going to see temperatures then eventually by tomorrow morning down into the mid to the low 50s. And then we'll see temperatures warm back into the low 70s for tomorrow afternoon with a lot of sunshine in the forecast. Beautiful fall weather in place with our winds out of the northeast near 10 to 15. On the future sky forecast, you notice through the remainder of the night tonight through tomorrow, barely a cloud in the sky. Tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, the clouds start to increase again. And then Friday morning, we might see a couple of spotty showers around, mostly cloudy skies on Friday. Could see a couple of scattered showers off and on through the day on Friday. Unfortunately, the timing shows that rain's on the way this weekend. More on that one second. We also have to talk about the big story again was uh, Category 4 Hurricane Michael making landfall earlier today uh, down near Panama City, continue to push its way inland into southwest sides of Georgia and will continue to stay on that north northeast track through the remainder of the afternoon into the evening hours, eventually then downgrading to a tropical storm by late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Those tropical storm force winds will continue to spread their way inland. Right now, we were seeing them uh, surrounding that center of circulation up to near 75 to even 80, 90 mile per hour winds. What's changing for us closer towards home on Saturdays? We do have a lot of rain on the way, and as that rain pushes its way into parts of North Texas, our rain chances do increase on Saturday and Sunday before another strong cold front pushes through. Rain chances 60% Sunday, and then look at this morning temperatures in the 40s into next week.